Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Elite Force 2 walkthrough. So, we're still on the station. Whoa, here we go. Trouble already. The second fire function on this weapon is actually quite useful. Of course, it uses more ammo, so be careful with that. Now, from what I remember, there's quite a nasty boss fight on this station, which I don't think we're too far off. Federation, where's the movement that's chasing me? Hey, that was the Ferengi guy I was just blasting. Whoa! That did not sound good, did it? Uh, Andorians. Might have known. Have an eye mod. Oh. So they've broken the staircase. Or the platform, more like. Whoa. Right, I could have handled that better. Whoa. That almost sounded like a sound effect from Die Hard with a Vengeance, the video game. Maybe it was. Okay, so get your health there if you need it. I don't think there's anything else around here, really. It's not concealing anything, no? Okay. That's right, yeah, there's no starships here. Not in this section. Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? Oh. Some ammo over here, which I would strongly recommend getting. Just be careful you don't fall in the acid. Come on. Right. Whoa. It's on you. Trust the old Federation phaser. Look at that. Just vaporized three people. Don't underestimate it. I'm trying to save my ammo, to be honest. Hey, that sounded like Martok. Wonder if it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa! More Klingons. What weapons do we have? We got the Quantum Launcher. And it's for seal phaser, okay. I love the phaser um, from Star Trek, the phaser. What's it called? Not the phaser rifle. It's not, a, it's not a rifle, is it? It's just a phaser. Handheld phaser. Enterprise, they call it the phase pistol. Oh, oh he's got a grenade launcher, and I've got a little phaser. Phew! That was close. I think he would have done a lot of damage to us then. I do like this gun though. It's kind of like they advanced the phaser rifle. There's the Ferengi. Honorous Ferengi. No matter how much you shoot him, you can't kill him. We can't go in there. Going down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he seems like a proper villain, doesn't he? Maybe from a low-budget Indiana Jones movie, perhaps? Help! Help! Federation attackers! Slow down, Omag. Martok! Help him! In the name of the Empire! Thought I heard him before. I'm no longer a commander in the Klingon Empire. You still know how to shoot! Save me! I'm your best customer! 
Very well. Uh oh. Hey, cool Ferengi ship. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be going for uh, Mech Warrior. Yep. Oh dear. Right, what's going on here then? This is the boss, from what I remember. Yep. Now, we have to... If we activate... Yeah, there we go. Oh, sugar! I can't quite remember what we have to do, but I know it's something to do with these consoles. Right, well that's kind of rejecting. What do these consoles do? Do they shut the power off? Maybe you should... Whoa, he's going fast. What the... Well, that didn't go well. I am coming for you, woman. Then surrender to flame. Right, just keep attacking it. That shield, there is no way of getting it down. I think it just malfunctions when it wants to, to be honest. Ah, yeah, see, look at that. We triggered something. What's wrong with this piece of Maktar? Why are you protecting that honorless Ferengi Kapekt? Yes. That is my business. Business is right. Klingons aren't supposed to fight for Latinum. Die! Well, it was worth a try, Munro. 10 out of 10 for effort, but, uh... It didn't work! Ooh, ammo. Thank you. I was gonna say, grenade launcher. Human? Did he say human? Like a Ferengi? Look at that! Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? You breathe in a vacuum, I am coming for you, human. Human? Did he say human like a Ferengi? Am I the only one who heard that? Hey, what's over here? You cannot escape the Udan, human. Eh, uh, lighten up. I think I can. I got a feeling a big energy. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, what? How are you supposed to avoid that thing? Hmm. How do we avoid that big green energy thingy? Repair rig manual override. Thanks. Exhaust vents control panel. Okay, I really don't understand this. Oh boy. Klingons don't fight for Latinum. You dare insult my honor? What honor? You're a lying capect. 
Haha, <laughs> nice one, Munro. There's no health left. I'm in big doo-doo here. Gosh, here he comes. He's angry. Never make an old Klingon angry. You might have noticed I just hit F6 there. I'm saving. Believe me, save. I've done this more times than I can count now. Oh dear. Right. I really don't know how to escape this thing, which is bad for us. Oh no. Is it going to get us again? Okay, we escaped the green beam thing. That's good, isn't it? Whew. Have a shotgun. Trust the old phaser. Federation phaser. Come on. I need my bat left. That's what I need. Have a quantum torpedo or two. We got him. Come on. Got ya. Monroe to Enterprise. Oh, has just left the station. Thank you, Lieutenant. <laughs> moving to intercept his shuttle now. Report back to the Enterprise. I thought he was going to say. I've left. Immediate. He's left the building. Tetrion Gatling gun. Nice. Ooh, a new toy for us to play with. Man, that was intense. Omeg wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all existing memory with random data. Without his data, we can't prove he knew the master control facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omeg. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, <laughs> requesting permission to interrogate Omeg. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out of order. Sir, I think I can do it. Very well. You realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with Omeg, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. Interesting. So it's almost like Captain Picard says, we're not allowed to do this, but I trust you to do it and I really want it to happen, but he's not able to do it himself. So yeah, so he kind of wants us to do it. Right. Ready room, bridge, cool TV screen. I'm busy. Omag is in the brig, Lieutenant. Alrighty then. Oh, there's the ready room again. Let's go to the brig, as ordered. Deck eight, brig. I 
heard one of the plasma conduits needs a retrofit. Yeah, I heard two of them did. Engineering still scrambling after the other one. That's a turbo lift. Aha, briggy time. <laughs> I wish it was Quark. That'd be more interesting, wouldn't it? Or maybe his brother or something. Hello, Omeg. I demand you release me. Oh my. Let's make a deal, Omeg. Who's your customer? Sorry. Good customers are as rare as Latinum. Treasure them. Rule number 57. Hmm. What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? True, but your opportunity conflicts with my last contract. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. A contract is a contract. Contract. Rule nine, opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well, my instincts tell me this is a lousy opportunity. I like my current contract. Rats. Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Contracts with other races can be honored when the profits are high enough. So, your client is not a Ferengi. <laughs> well, I won't tell you who he is. <laughs> Rule 121, everything is for sale, even friendship. If he were merely a friend, I'd rat him out right now. But he's a <laughs> customer. New customers are like razorback reworms. They can be succulent, but sometimes they bite back. Rule 203. Hmm, so he's a new customer, and one you're afraid can find you. That makes him a powerful and deadly non-Ferengi with a starship, or several. I never said that! I'm... I'm just not looking to expand into any new markets. Expand or die, Rule 95. Don't threaten me! You're risking a court-martial. Rule 62. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. But what about your career? I'm on the hazard team. You think I'll ever reach retirement? Please. <laughs> I'm just a kindly merchant who risked his hard-earned latinum to help some scientists. After they brought you priceless artifacts. Of course. You think I'd take a risk that's not a sure thing? And you sold their artifacts on the black market, where they would be lost to history. Exactly. That's what keeps the profits high. And they say you Federation types lack the lobes for business. Oh, I understand business very well. Well, since you understand business... Help me escape, and I'll give you a Class M colony planet with tropical beaches for your retirement. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll sneak you out of here. Freeze. Lieutenant Monroe, you've been relieved of duty. You will face a court martial on the of <laughs> I thought he was joking. The good thing about you agreeing to accept a bribe is that it's considered a mitigating factor with the Grand Nagus. I'm guilty of getting caught by the Federation. <laughs> but the Grand Nagus should let me off lightly for corrupting you. Remember, on the Enterprise, there are no secrets. Escape, and I'll give you a Class M colony planet with tropical beaches for your retirement. Right, so I think this time we're not going to do the wow, okay, I'll sneak you out of here. I honestly thought he was being sarcastic, but it turns out he wasn't. Another thing, 
How does he know every single Ferengi rule? How does he know that? How does he know all the rules of acquisition? It's very suspicious. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. This is entrapment! No Starfleet officer says he understands business unless he wants a bribe. Who was your customer? He'll send those monsters to kill me. They can destroy cities. Looks like you broke a vital law of acquisition when you sold something that could kill you. I did not. Rule 125, you can't make a deal if you're dead. Wrong. He agreed to never send them against a Ferengi planet. Ha! I win. No, you just confessed. Omag, we're charging you as an accessory to mass murder. What? Ooh. You knew you were selling a weapon of mass destruction. Your customer killed Atrexians on Prasjag Gamma 3. You have their blood on your hands. <laughs> but I won't tell you who he is unless you drop the charges and release me. Very well. On a planet of my choosing? Of course not. We're not a shuttle service. We'll choose a planet convenient for us. I accept the bargain. He is a captain in the Romulan Imperial Navy. Romulans? What were you thinking? I know. Romulans are usually terribly cheap. Good work goading him into confessing, Lieutenant. I believe that would be Rule 87. Learn the customer's weaknesses so you can better take advantage of them. You think you won, Monroe, but you have to release me. And I never told you where to find his secret base. Ha! <laughs> he has a secret base? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. So, where will you drop me off? Ferenginar? Risa? We will release you on the next planet to be attacked by exomorphs. No! You wouldn't! <laughs> that way you can inspect the results of your profiteering. Those monsters don't value latinum. I'll be killed. Isn't it the Ferengi dream to die rich? You can't. Goodbye, Omag. His name is Commander Soldok. I'll give you coordinates to his base. It's located on the border of the neutral zone just inside Romulan space. Thank you, Omag. Nice doing business with you. I'll inform Starfleet of our new destination. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will arrange a security briefing. What about me? You had better hope your information leads to the location of the Master Control Facility before the Exomorphs attack another planet. <laughs> you know the rules of acquisition well for a human. Corban to Munro, please join me in the armory. Wow, well that was interesting. It was uh, multiple choice and what you put down obviously decided what happened. So yes, just remember, he's not being sarcastic when, when he uh, says he'll help him escape. I have studied the Tetrian gun the Klingon Lurak dropped. You can test it in a special test program. Ooh, look at this. Gasoline gun. Whoa! Look at that thing! I don't remember this gun. Ah, hang on a second. Didn't the Herogen have something similar in the first game? They did, but it was just green. And Dorians? Oh, that's cool. Ricochet off walls. Oh. I think he's turned the difficulty up, hasn't he? Probably because I moaned last time. Oh! Ooh, that was dumb. Whoops, what am I doing? It almost looks like it's broken, this gun. Some broken glass. Right, there is a life sign. Where are they? They're down here? Nope, they're stood there. He was on his phone. Nasty habit. Almost.
almost as good as a Klingon. Tuvok to Monroe. Report to the briefing room. Briefing time. I'm assuming we're going to the Romulans. Hazard operations. Oh, cool. By the way, I'm running this in full HD resolution. There's actually a way of doing it. What I'll do is I'll leave um, instructions in the description below for you so you can do it yourself. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it just makes the game look a bit better, especially on modern displays. Starfleet has authorized a covert mission to the Romulan base. We will enter Romulan space using a special warp signature code we obtained from a Romulan informant. Lieutenant Monroe and Ensign Gonzalez will beam down to separate locations disguised as Romulans. You will both enter the facility using forged credentials and rendezvous inside. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok? Use your tricorder to track the informant's unique transponder signal. The informant will give you access to the secure data banks. Download the coordinates to the master control facility, then activate your comm beacons and we will instantly beam you out. Aye, sir. Please report to sickbay for surgical alteration. <laughs> One of those, eh? Ooh, we've got a secret to find. Where could it be? Hmm. My money's in here. No. I'm looking for a hidden starship. Has anyone seen one? Can I Hello. You? Whoa, okay. Different. Oh, the bug. I'm busy. Alright, he's moody, isn't he? Hey, he's the guy who arrested us, do you remember? Alright, well I don't see any golden starships in there. Uh, let's think. They sometimes put them behind nondescript doors, like hidden ones. Aha! There we go. I think my favourite Easter egg so far is either the Mario level or the... Let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, when you go behind the scenes here, you actually get to go behind the set of the Enterprise. <laughs> Sick bay. in one of these corridors and you saw the wooden it was made out of wood basically they're taking the mickey out of um the studios i think but this game is packed full of easter eggs i never realized either when i played this originally report to the sick bay Okay, so for those of you wondering where Sick Bay is, it's directly opposite the armory. I just did a complete loop of the ship, pretty much, and failed to spot that. Welcome to Sick Bay. Ready to become someone else? Let's get started. I like the detailing on the warp nacelles there, at the front, they're even moving. Bussard collectors, I think they're called. Oh. Okay, well, I think I'll call it quits there for now, and um, oh, we're by ourselves. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.